right, so after taking a shitty overnight bus, I had a massive struggle to get bikes because it's you know, peak tourist season. We're ready to go. I've got a Honda PCX 150 or 160. Uh, 150 and Kate's got a Yamaha Aerox 155. Two good bikes. Car from a place called Sunshine Bike Rentals. It's a Dutch guy called Jan operates the place. Thanks, Jan. Ready to go. All right. Woo! Let's get going. Today we're driving from Chiang Mai to Phi, and it's about a almost three hour drive. 127 kilometers left to go. We're driving out of the old quarter, like the more ancient part of Chiang Mai. And it seems like traffic isn't too bad today. It's Saturday, is it today the 2nd of December? Which makes it almost winter, middle of winter in Thailand. So the temperature is really nice. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned, 126 kilometers to go. It's gonna be a wonderful day of driving, beautiful mountain passes, and hopefully we'll see some autumn trees like losing their leaves and all the beautiful auburn and brown and yellow colors. It's gonna be a nice trip. You can see the famous Chiang Mai wall on your right. Getting out of Chiang Mai does take quite a bit of time. So we got a slow start to our morning, but we are getting out of here and we'll be in the mountains soon and I'm really looking forward to it. We haven't done this loop since December of 2021. So I'm so excited to see it again and to go back up to Pai, which is one of our favorite places in Thailand. I'm just really looking forward to it. So Jan, the Dutch guy, told us to take this little offshoot um, you get off of the main road faster and it's more scenic he says so we're going through a little town so we've got 108 kilometers left to go but the, the nice part is most of that is mountain roads so it's going to be beautiful there's loads of coffee farms in this region so we're going to get a good good views good viewpoints with cafes and delicious coffee uh, and of course the north of thailand produces a lot of food so Lots of fruit trees. We're gonna have delicious food, fruit, and coffee. I really am enjoying this PCX. It feels so smooth. Uh, it's got enough power. It's not strong, but it, you know, accelerates uniformly. But the suspension is nice, and like you could, you put your feet up straight almost, and just cruise. But I'm super excited to try out this. Aerox because it's just a way more comfortable ride than a click or the scoopy that I have back home <laughs> which can't even handle a small little bump um, so yeah this is really exciting for me this is just the perfect weather for a motorbike trip not too hot sun's out wonderful So I would tell you where we're headed tonight in terms of accommodation, but we've actually done this one a little bit different and we're not going to be booking anything in advance and just trying to get to the next town or trying to get to a certain town in a day and then just booking into a place that night. So we're still driving through these beautiful countryside towns uh, and it's so nice. Like the roads are just more quiet and peaceful and scenic. Beautiful trees, lots of banana trees. It's green. Oh. It's my heart calls it. My heart calls me to go into the countryside. Unfortunately, we just missed harvest season. It's or post harvest season now. So I think most of the rice paddies are going to be not as beautiful, but that's fine. It's gonna be a nice trip nonetheless. Cause I did the non-loop just over a month ago, I think. Erotic Garden, oh nice. Um, and it was still beautiful rice paddy. So hopefully we'll find some at some point on this road. The rice paddies just make these loops so picturesque. 
and of course flying the drone over them oh can't beat that view you know so we're just gonna be winging it every night <laughs> trying to make it to the next town and the goal for today is to get to Pai one of our favorite places in Thailand this is our favorite thing to do is motorbike loop such an adventure so much fun that's what we love to do it's our bread and butter you might say so we're basically in the countryside as you can see on my left crazy forests and rice paddies fruit trees oh look at those delicious papayas it's just beautiful like thailand's countryside every single time we leave the city and we're in the countryside i'm just so happy and content with life it's just green and happy and it's quiet and it's not as busy and bustling and loud it's just picturesque and everyone has beautiful vegetable and fruit gardens like every single house and the people are nice and it's just a more relaxed you know way of life it's, it's i mean that's how i grew up so for me that would always feel like home i would never really feel at home in a city i can make a home there and i can like work but that's not where i want to live long term you know i think it's the same even though she did grow up in San Diego and some smaller cities, she also loves the countryside. And we are finally going through some windy, beautiful roads with trees all around us and mountains to the left and to the right. Beautiful farms. This is what we came for. Oh, big smile. Big, 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 big smile. Oh, oh, look at this Buddha, it's pretty cool. Buddha's got a hat, and the hat is basically... Keeps it from raining on him. Pretty sweet. Just to put it in perspective, we did the Hajang Loop in four days, and that is 350 kilometers total to get all the way around. And we are attempting to do the Mehong Song Loop, which is double, <laughs> almost double, the Hajang Loop, and we're going to do it in four days. So we have a lot more ground to cover. Definitely an adventure ahead. And there's our sign for Pai and Mehong Song. And that's where we're headed. I love this bike. It's so nimble gets around the corners. I feel safe, I feel secure, it's quiet. So we have exactly two hours left to drive, a uh, good 93 kilometers. We still haven't hit the mountain passes, but once we do, it's gonna be the most twisty, windy roads we've ever driven on. Uh, it's just switchback after switchback, beautiful views, and good coffee. Oh, look at this. That's pretty cool. We should go and travel with one of those, skate on the side seat. Pretty cool. So this weekend is a long weekend for teachers, for Gustav and me. So we have Monday and Tuesday off. And Tuesday is Father's Day. So if you are Thai and you're watching this, or if you're not Thai and you're watching this, <laughs> and you're a father, happy Father's Day. We hope you have a great day. I know it's probably going to be a bit late because I'm not going to be able to edit this for a while, but happy Father's Day to my dad and happy Father's Day to Gustav's dad, who is my spoon pop. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great day. All right, we are back on the main road, the 1095, the main road to Pai. And as you can see, the mountain is in the distance. We're going to start getting up in elevation, climbing in elevation. So Kate has to go to the bathroom. I need a coffee. And I want to launch the drone a little bit. So this place is called Orange Box Coffee, I think. So we're going to stop here.
So one of my favorite things about the north of Thailand is the toilets, the bathrooms have really beautiful views, uh, as you can see. Beautiful forest, the mountains in the distance. Just taking a quick leak and then we'll hit the road again. finally hit the mountain passes and as you can see it's nice windy good incline I love these windy roads and bam temperature dropping already it's gonna get chilly up there I think but yeah these mountain passes you know throughout Asia are just so beautiful oh we got we got a farang in front of us no jacket she's gonna get chilly Wop, wop, wop. Oh yeah, look at these beautiful twisty roads. Yeah, we decided we're just gonna get these, you know, protective jackets because you don't know what's gonna happen. And of course, always wear a helmet. So that if you fall, you know, you don't lose all the skin in your body. Tarmac is a little bit rough on your skin. Oh, look at this. Bamboo forest, and jungle forest, just yeah, beautiful. All right, quick update. We have been on the bike for three hours. My butt is feeling fantastic compared to any other motorbike trip we've done because <laughs> this bike is so nice. What an awesome day so far. Be careful, doggy. I know this may be horrible to say, but we did this two years ago and I already forgot <laughs> like so much of what it looked like. Like I just have a highlight reel in my head of what it was like two years ago. So it feels like I'm just doing the loop for the first time again. So well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Just stopping for a quick coffee. Beautiful, incredible day so far. Been going for about three and a half hours. We're just so happy. So the coffee stops are one of the most integral parts of the Mehong Song Loop because it's just like the north of Thailand is famous for its coffee and the vibe of just like sitting at a coffee shop in this area and taking in the views is just, it's incredible. So I love this part. So we have already gone 71 kilometers into this 600 kilometer trip and we have about 51 kilometers to go. Another interesting fact about the Mehong Song Loop, there are 1,860 curves. Curve 
for the road all my life Thirsty for adventure all my youth Chasing all my freedoms down Liberty Avenue So if you do come on the Mayong Sun Loop one day, just go onto the corner of the road and let all the cars pass you. And once they're passed, it's open, smooth roads. It's quite annoying. Sometimes you hit like a big truck. Or not hit it, but it's on the road and then it creates this bottleneck effect. And then you, the scooters can easily pass them and then the cars eventually later on catch up and then they pass you again and then hit another truck and over and over. We're just gonna let these guys pass us and just enjoy the beautiful scenery. Getting super curvy roads. Just a few of the famous 1,860 curves. Wow. What's cool about this road also to Pi is it's something that you could just do like if you don't have enough time to go and do the whole Mehong Song loop, you could just do this road to Pai and that would be such an incredible trip. So if you don't have time, definitely recommend just driving up to Pai and then driving back to Chiang Mai. So it's exactly 51 more kilometers to Pai, um, which would usually not take that long, but these are the mountainous road, so it's still going to take like an hour, hour and a 15 minutes maybe. But it's 51 kilometers of pure beauty, as you can see, and beautiful views. Especially getting closer to the top, it's going to be stacked with nice viewpoints and like cool place you can get coffee. So stay tuned for some beautiful, spectacular views and twisty mountainous roads and beautiful forests. I saw some poop on the road. I was wondering where it came from. <laughs> so we're just driving along, you see some dung in the road, and bam, water buffaloes in the mountains. It's pretty cool. So cool, the countryside is just, around every corner is some spectacular views and some interesting things happening and if you've got some mountains it's a double whammy if you would have told me two years ago <laughs> that i was going to be doing this same loop two years from now i would have thought you were absolutely crazy <laughs> we did not think we were going to be in thailand for this long i was just telling gustav the first time that we did this i definitely was really nervous and i wasn't really paying attention to a lot of the views and I had only been driving for a little bit, so I wasn't that ready for a trip like this. So I'm really happy we're doing it again. I remember stopping here. So this is the famous viewpoint for people to get off and to throw up. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Coffee car. Ooh, hello, chicken. I need a little taste of home. Got you some strawberries. Mm, I got us some. Next mission is to find some cow soy, our favorite meal. So we did this loop Christmas two years ago, uh, about two months after we started dating. And Christmas is still, what's that? Just over three weeks, three and a half weeks in. I mean, it's in three and a half weeks. So it's a little bit more cold and the forest look more like it's autumn, you know, different colors, the leaves and all falling. Um, but it's a beautiful time to go. 
the visibility is not as good as it is right now. And I would say the road's even more busy, but it's still a good time to do it. It's really nice. If you want to experience, you know, Thailand, that's actually chilly. Um, so that was really fun. It was amazing. We did it on small Honda clicks, really old ones, way cheaper than these bikes, but they got us around the loop safe. Um, so one of our favorite parts of this loop is Nan, on it Nan, is Pai. It's like a, I want to say a Hobbit community, but like a hippie community in the mountains. It's a beautiful valley in the mountains. Uh, you'll see when we get there. I'll launch the drone and get some good shots of Pai. But it's a really nice laid back place. They've got an awesome night street, like night markets, a walking street. They close off the roads. The cars can drive there, and it's just food stalls and all kinds of stalls, craft beer, you could just walk around and have a good time. So I'm sure it being Saturday today, it's going to be open. I really hope so. So we'll be doing that tonight. I uh, still need to find a accommodation for tonight, but that's fine. I'm sure there will be a place. It's busy, but it's not peak tour season yet, I think. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, so now we're gonna drive to a place called Pai River Restaurant or something. Because it seems like they have khao soy on the menu, which if you haven't had it, it's such a delicious dish. It's a Northern Thai curry with egg noodles and fried noodles, chicken peas, uh, the curry itself, usually raw onions, pickled greens, Chinese, mustard greens, I think, some uh, chili, and it's just delicious. Welcome to Mei Hong Song. Yay! So we have officially left Chiang Mai province and we are now in the Mei Hong Song province. Woo! So it's a province that's on the border of Burma. Uh, and unfortunately, just across the border, there's a little bit of, uh, I wouldn't say civil war, but unrest. There's guerrillas and there's fighting. The military is deployed. Luckily on the Burma side, not this side is quite and peaceful, I think. But I think there are some uh, camps for asylum seekers. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure. But yeah, we are officially in Myeong Son. We're not in Chiang Mai province Chiang Mai anymore. Quick little update for you. We just went through a police checkpoint, but they actually didn't even stop us. They just waved us through. So that's really nice. Right when we got into the new Mayong Song province, there is a little checkpoint, but they didn't even pull us over. They just waved us through. I think we're at the top of the mountain because it is beautiful. There's some beautiful, amazing views from here. Uh, even better than that side, because you can see the sun coming through. Let's see if we can find a nice viewpoint you guys can see. So we just drove past a truck that flipped on its side. Last time when we did this loop, there was also like two or three trucks. You can see it just there. Two or three trucks that uh, flipped over in these mountain passes because they go way too fast and you can't break fast enough and you can't turn fast enough and they're overloaded. With the scooter it's fine. Uh, sometimes you'll go into a corner too fast and you just have to keep straight and brake with both brakes. But yeah, if you ever drive in these passes, you know, if the truck comes from, from a front around the twisty road, they're gonna go into your lane, just stay left stay far left yeah top tip for the day uh, it looks like no one got hurt in that crash they did lose some eggs though this is gonna sound really weird but i swear these roads like lull you into like some sort of trance just like the curves back and forth through the trees. Feels like I'm in some sort of, woo, like 
I don't know. So we are officially out of the mountain and we're in a valley. Oh, feel some water. Uh, you can feel the temperature is just rising the moment you come out of the mountains and it's more climby. So humidity feels high here too. Uh, but yeah, we're about 13 minutes from the restaurant. Oh, that's a little drizzle. I didn't know this place gets a little rain in the winter. So yeah, we're gonna get some delicious cow soy, find a restaurant. Oh, it's dripping on me. Oh. But yeah, beautiful views, like the mountains and valleys and all the farms. Ah, nine kilometers to Pai, we're almost there. Some hot springs if you turn right. Oh, I think we should have turned right there. We missed it, but we'll get the next right, I guess. So we're officially in Pai and we found the restaurant. I think it's over here somewhere. I am starving. So we just finished up lunch, pretty good cow soy, not the best one, not like our one in Bangkok, but <laughs> still pretty good. Around a little bit, it's super hot in Pai right now, really, really hot. And we're really feeling super tired from last night's bus ride. And then we wanted to find an accommodation for tonight. And we're looking on booking.com, we're looking at a Goda and all we can find is places that are over 1500 baht. And that's really not in our budget right now. We wanna keep it really cheap. So we just were like, okay, let's just go to a random place and just see if they have a, like, a room and we found this place it's called the blue house and it's 550 baht for an air-conditioned room and that's honestly all we need <laughs> wow. so we just woke up from a little nap that drive today was exhausting and last night we did not sleep very well on the bus so we had a nice relaxing afternoon and now it's almost golden hour so we're just gonna go explore pie This is some black sticky rice with black sesame and then a little bit of condensed milk on top. That's really good. Nice and crunchy. Black sesame, so you can taste that. 
Uh, a little bit of sweetness from the condensed milk. Yummy. I like it. Good, good sauce. Ooh, delicious samosa. This place is called Erotic Garden. Uh, I wonder what that's all about. What else did I want to say? Are you a cutie pie? Come here. Also, if you're traveling, take some toilet paper with. There's bum guns, which are great for cleaning, but 